Always remember, your focus determines your reality. What's up guys? I'm Ryan the Cyber Hobbit, and today I've got another 1-6 scale figure for you. Now, shall I describe it for you? Or would you like for me to find you a box? <laughs> Here it is! This is the Asmus Collectible Toys Legolas Exclusive Edition. Um, I've been waiting for this for a little bit. Sideshow took a little bit longer than if I would have ordered it from Asmus, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, it has a pretty fancy, well, more fancy shipping box than a lot of things I've seen. But anyway, let's go ahead and go over the box. So I wasn't really exactly sure how they were going to do this. Um, so since this is the exclusive edition, this isn't just the Legolas figure. There is also a piece of Helm's Deep. It's like, that's on that side. Um, there is a Helm's Deep uh, kind of diorama piece that you put Legolas on. So it came just kind of obviously with some padding, but the pieces for it are just in this box. There's no second box. So. All right, so now I've got all these things out of the box. So these little uh, metal prongs that go at the top of the ladder, um, there's a metal chain that's attached to them. I'm not really sure what it's for, but one thing I did notice was that um, it appears the little tip here on the end is a magnet. So that was a fun discovery at first. Still a little close-up of this ladder. I'm not really sure what material it's made of, but it actually is pretty heavy. Next we have a piece of the wall. It's also pretty heavy. Not really sure which direction it will face, but pretty cool looking. Then we have this floor piece. Also pretty cool looking. Got a lot of detail along the edges where the bricks are right here. It turns out that the ladder also has a magnet that it is used to put these prongs into. So they stay nice and snug. I'm still not quite sure what you do with the chain, but maybe it'll be in the direction somewhere. So it turns out this wall piece actually has little uh, magnets or, and divots on the side of it so that the ladder can just kind of easily fit into place. There's also supposed to be a little like flame um, lantern type thing. I'm not really sure where that is. I'm hoping it's going to be in the bigger box. Okay, so now let's unbox it. Pretty cool looking. And there's the missing lantern piece that I thought might be in here. Pretty cool looking. It doesn't light up or anything, but nice kind of fire effect looking. On it. I believe it just sits right here on the base. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the box just so we can see it all. Okay, and now let's start with Mr. Legolas himself. Go ahead and get these little plastic sleeves off so he doesn't suffocate. The head sculpt is okay. I think it does look like Legolas, but maybe not necessarily Orlando Bloom, if you know what I mean. And check out this hair. It's pretty cool. I believe it's like kind of one of those uh, half half and half things where it's partial like a real type hair but then also has plastic like on the head and this braid thing. But 
pretty cool looking. I've got to say, I think Asmus does always a really good job on the clothing. Like they always seem to knock it out of the park with this kind of stuff. Really cool van bracers and shoulder pads. Nice belt. And check out them boots. Got a little marking on the bottom of the boots. Let's just take a little zoom in on and see what that says. Gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far. Pretty cool looking quiver. Not sure if that's supposed to be like an animal or just some kind of fancy design. Yeah, I guess a fancy design. Oh, that's cool. Those are his little uh, scabbards for his fighting knives. Try to find the other one here. Yeah, there it is. Seems to have the normal articulation points that allow you to do all types of posing. Not sure the number of them, but... I wonder if the... oh yeah. The boot moves on its own. Not all figures do that, especially Frodo. I think so far I'm pretty happy with this. Now let's go ahead and check out his sword. Pretty cool looking scabbard. Huh. That's kind of disappointing. Um, the sword is not metal. Usually most of these Asmus figures come with metal weapons, but this one is not. Moving on to the bow. Pretty cool looking. It appears this string is elastic. Not sure how far you could bend it, but I guess we'll see. Looks pretty nice. Now we've got the fighting knives. Do a little zoom in. So I actually have the United Cutlery version of these fighting knives. So maybe we'll do a little comparison here. Pretty amazing they've managed to get basically the same kind of pattern but on a smaller version. You also get just the hilts of the fighting knives. I assume that these will go into those little scabbards we found on the back of Legolas. And we cannot forget about the arrows. You get 10 of these. Pretty good looking arrows. Okay, and uh, put them on this little stand here, and then I will get them all set up. Okay, it seems I left out one more accessory. His cloak. And he's got a little leaf of Lothlorien right here. Looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, one thing I discovered is you need to make sure you don't have the arrows or his fighting knives on before you put the cape on. And uh, just start at the bottom. There's a little hole here. 
should allow everything to come through and still be visible. I should also mention that the cloak does have a uh, metal wire in the hood, so you can reposition it kind of how you feel. I will say I did struggle quite a bit trying to figure out how best to get him to hold the bow and arrow. I just never really wanted to line up how I thought it should. But eventually it does go on okay. I still have no clue what you use this chain for. If you know what it does, let me know in the comments. And here we have him set up with his companions, Aragorn and Gimli. Overall, I think this is a great figure. There's definitely a few things that I wasn't a big fan of, like setting up the bow and getting his belt on right, but overall pretty nice. And they all look great together. Finally have the famous trio. And that about wraps up this video. Would really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe or like. But uh till next time. Bye bye.